all mothers are unique to their children. However, the women featured in this video have gone down in history as the most distinctive mothers ever. Elizabeth Ann Buttle holds the record of having the longest interval between the births of her two children, Belinda and Joseph. Elizabeth had her first child, Belinda, at the age of 19, and the next child when she was 60 years old. The gap was 41 years and 185 days long. Joseph's sister was old enough to be his grandma. Stacy Herald is just 2 foot 4 inches and said to be the world's smallest mother. Stacy is 35 years of age and her husband is a trainee priest. They have had three children and are both determined to have many more. The doctors have warned Stacy that every time she gets pregnant, she opens herself up to risks. However, that does not affect Stacy as she keeps having more despite any complications. A man from Arizona, Thomas Beatty, became the first male mother in the world. He is a legally transgendered man and is married to his wife, Nancy. He gave birth to three kids in three years and is the first male mum ever. After his third child, he started taking testosterone pills in an effort to regain his masculine figure back. He had lost it under the pressure of his three pregnancies. All three births were completely natural. In Venus, Florida, a tropical storm Darby came thrashing into Heather Town's home. That's when Heather grabbed her three-year-old daughter, trying her best to protect her. Heather could not survive the storm. However, she kept holding her daughter till the end, ensuring nothing happened to her. Even after she stopped breathing, she was seen holding her baby. She was a wonderful mother who gave her life protecting her child. Nadia Denise Suleiman gave birth to octuplets, that's eight children, at one time back in 2009. This made Nadia famous all around the globe as it's not as common occurrence. In fact, her case was only the second in the history of America. Normally, octuplets don't survive simultaneous birth. Nadia, a single mum, was already mum to six other kids before she gave birth to the eight. Carol Horlock is a surrogate mum who has given birth to 12 babies, including triplets, in just 13 years. She is 42 years old and she holds the world record for being the most prolific surrogate mother. She claims that when she started, it was only going to be a one-time thing, but she enjoyed it so much she continued having more. Plus, surrogate mums receive approximately $25,000 to $30,000 for the job, which is helpful. Raho Devi Lohan has the claim of being the oldest first-time mum in history. She gave birth to her daughter at the age of 69 after controversial IVF surgery. Her daughter, Naveen, is now 5 years old, while Raho is 74. Raho is really loved by her daughter, and having her has given Raho the will to live longer as she wants to see her daughter married before she dies. Naveen has also started school in her local village. Carolina Chiber gave birth to her daughter, Rosita Chirinza, on a tree in Mozambique. There was a giant flood in the country of Mozambique in southern Africa that killed several people, leaving millions homeless. That's when Carolina sought refuge in a tree and gave birth to her healthy baby, who was later rescued. The baby signifies a ray of hope for all those in Mozambique, showing that the flood shall not affect their courage and morale. Mahajabin Sheikh was the mother of the tiniest baby ever after being pregnant for 25 weeks and 6 days. At Loyola University Medical Center, Mahajabin gave birth to Rumaisa Rahman on September 19, 2004. The baby was only 10 inches long and weighed 8.6 ounces, which is even less than a can of soda. Rumesa also had a twin, Heba, who weighed in at 1 pound 4 ounces. Both girls are healthy now. The mother known to have had the most childbirths lived back in the 18th century. She gave birth to 69 kids in just 27 pregnancies. 
She was Russian, and nobody knows her real name, though she was called the wife of Fyodor Vasiliev. Her extraordinary feat is recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records. Lina Medina, who comes from Chicrapo, Peru, is the youngest girl known to have become a mother. At the age of only five years and seven months, Lena gave birth to a baby boy on May 14, 1939. Her pregnancy lasted only a month and a half, and the doctors, Dr. Lazada and Dr. Basalio, performed a cesarean section to help her deliver the child. She is said to have matured at the age of just four. A video went viral when a Brazilian woman was caught twerking with a toddler. The woman was assumed to be the toddler's mum, however, this has not been confirmed. Since twerking is said to be a sexual dance, many have accused the woman of being a paedophile, while others have defended her. The toddler is seen to imitate the dance of his mum, and many viewers have made it a topic about bad parenting and claim it's a moral issue. The world's oldest mother of twins was Omkari Panwa from India. She was 70 years old and her husband, Charan Singh Panwa, 77. He was determined to have a male heir to carry on his family name and be the next of kin after he died. Charan sold his buffaloes and land and took a credit loan in order to pay for the IVF treatment. Fortunately, Omkari had two healthy twin babies, a boy and a girl, weighing two pounds at birth. Jackie Ryland is a 29-year-old mother of three. She is single-handedly raising the kids and has become quite popular on social media. She makes this list because she might be the only mum in the world to take 100 selfies in a day. She claims that she is addicted to HGH, human growth hormone, because she has a constant pressure of looking her best. She has also had a bad, life-threatening experience with plastic surgery, and she is against it since then. Joanna Krasistanek was pregnant with triplets when she started facing some complications. After 21 weeks in, she lost one of the babies due to a premature birth. The baby was too weak to continue. However, the doctors told Joanna that she will lose her two other babies too unless she did one thing. She had to stay upside down for two and a half months, 24 hours a day, to ensure she gives birth to the two remaining babies successfully. It worked and her children were healthy at birth. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.